Today is the ninth course of Bhagavad Gita, the holiest of the holy books of the Hindus. You are what you believe in. You become that which you believe you can become. Just the belief is enough. I remember when I started the school for the blind in Indranagar, when I took the decision to start, everybody said, oh, you're going to start an NGO, non-government organization, a school for the blind. And you know, from where you get the funds. Some people told me, you got contacts in 140 countries, write to them and collect the funds. That's the time I decided, no. When I went abroad, most of the countries, they were looking down at us, telling your coolies, etc., etc. So, I was not interested. I said, no, I will not ask them. I said, but why? I will go back to my people to find out whether we can get in this money. Others told me, nobody believe in NGOs, non-government organizations, especially people who start this kind of institution. They are crooks, they are cheaters. Uh, etc. And nowadays nobody believed and nobody gave money. So when I started it in, in the um, Sri Krishna Temple Road in Indrana, people said, oh, here who will come? This is a mutton market uh, road, who will come? You should have taken it on the main road. I just kept quiet, I kept on doing and many people told, told me about these bad things that people don't help you. I told them, see when I started I think, I just be on that particular thing. But whether people say good or bad, I do not get involved. Whether people say your people are bad or good, why should I? I believe when people say that uh, NGOs are bad or good, I have come to do a particular thing. And if I am going to believe that there is a good or bad, then I will not be successful. Bhagavad Gita said, You are what you believe in. I believed in trying to help trying to share, trying to find out what I can do and the toughest thing was taking care of the visually challenged which they say 83% of what do they, we can see they cannot see and I said that is the toughest thing I wanted. What about the funds? I said I am not bothered about the funds. I never looked at the funds. Wherever I went around the world I never looked at the funds. If I wanted to go I just went and funds followed me. I never went behind funds. That is the kind of belief. The same tactic I told my children when they go, went for the before the examination. I said, "Go and meet the school college principal. Go and meet meet the club. Move, meet the lecturer. And whenever you go to meet the lecturer principal, carry some chocolates and sweets. I send them. And the moment they give chocolates and sweets, ta -ta 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 -ta, I think start spilling out. They told them study this style, this technique, that technique. I'll give you this question paper, five years question paper, modern question paper." And when the examination started, you know, most of my kids were feeling very happy because ideas from many people, especially from the principal side, from the lecturer side, from the clerical side, everybody put together, things made it very easy if you believe. And if you think what other people will be thinking, sometimes my children told me, the class of students will try to pull me by telling you are going to butter with the uh, principal and lecturer and all. I said, don't worry about it. You go ahead. And things opens up. Bhagavad Gita says, You are what you believe in. If you believe in getting anything, buttering is not a thing. You go deeper and deeper. The path opens. I was just doing my work. I believed. Then, in the art of asking without asking, and we kept chanting yoga in the morning, karate in the evening, music all in the road, walking early morning, 4 30, we get up 5 o'clock with the shoes and socks and uniforms. We were walking all around the town. Just walking and people kept on asking me, if I go to the park and you pray, they ask my children, what is this, where it is? You just believe in doing your thing and things fall in its place. I remember one time one, one lady came running, one angry lady came running to me and said, Mr. Rakum, I saw your students walking the street without slippers. I can't believe that I can't take it. I said, if you can't take it, then uh, you uh, do it. 
She took all my children, around 100 rupees to do she took both of them slippers. We have to do walk and slippers follows us. I never went up to the slippers. Bhagavad Gita said, do what you believe in, believe in you. Believe in your wife. Where you want to see, to understand the whole world of the feminine world. Where, it, where if you are negative, she becomes a positive. Negative and positive makes the electricity deeper. That is the richness, that is the power which is very close to God. But what you want to believe in, you become that which you believe you can become. If you believe you want to become the prime minister of the country, you can provide it. You have to go ahead. And whatever people talk, one time I knew Kamalanti came and told me, Look, Mr. Raku, I heard a lot of people talking bad about you. I said, Kamalanti, in, in this kind of NGO work, only bad talks are there. If at all a good talk is coming, there is bonus. And she said, I can't be every day, I can't try to tell you something. You can't work. Negative to positive, you are always positive, Rudolf. Yes, you never take things in a bad way. Uh, one time, one person came in, one Marwadi lady came and told me, Mr. Rakum, uh, I heard that materials which we are giving to you was selling. I said, Yes, 100%. <laughs> what we can use it, we use it, what we cannot, we sell it up and use the money to buy food. You see, Sell it up and use the money to buy food grains. From that day she started telling everybody. And everybody coming to me, Mr. Rakam, what will we give, give you? If you can use it, use it. You can sell it up and use the money to buy food grains. That belief in you. That telling the truth. And Dr. Nikos keeps on telling me, Mr. Rakam, I think you are innocent. But cunningly innocent, I don't know, cunningly innocent, but this is my way of life. The belief in your system, I believe that we will not go to, we will not go to attend any seminar or meeting concerning the development of this uh, children or this organization. And what did I do? To which seminar I went? One of the best seminars in the world I went. I won't go to this local seminar. I am not that cheap. Because I believe, Bhagavad you are what you believe in. I believe in what Reverend Marcus said. Ask for my Jesus Christ and knock at the door shall be open. So we will make your eyes talk down until the God is reached. And Bhagavad said, get up, stand up. And I believe in that. I went to one of the best seminars in the world. The best meeting. And I never told anybody. And that seminar is called my children, I sat with them. That was, and that seminar is almost every day I sit with my children. I just listen, ah, 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 I laugh. And everything spills, ah, 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 I laugh. Everything spills. And I and the children, ah, 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 that created a magnetic power and it attracted a huge amount of people to come to Rakum schools. <laughs> and from three children, we were able to feed thousand students, around 2,500 elderly people. Yes. <laughs> It is going on without state government, without central government, without foreign aid, without any multinational company supporting us. Bhagavad Gita court said, you are what you believe in. Believe in you. It is possible. You become that which you believe in. But you have to love them. You cannot just go to the IAS Academy, Autopus IAS Academy, Global IAS Academy, and you attend the class by giving one lakh twenty five thousand and you think you want to pass. No, 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 no. <laughs> You have to meet with the teachers, with the lecturers, and with varieties. When you see a thousand roses, only you can love one rose. The thousands of lecturers will move to understand, thousands of people will love to move to understand. You will hit your target. It's possible to hit the target. When Lions Club came and told me, Mr. Rakam, you take one more student, they will not support you. I took one more student that same day. They said they will not support you. That is, I had only 20 students, 21. Thousands of flowers. If you take one more flower, they don't have to go on them. But believe in you, meaning thousands of people, yes. And giving your ear to them, you will achieve. That achievement is the greatest position anybody can have in the world. And that position is very close to you, your wife, your husband, your father and mother, your family, which makes the joint family to create the family tree.